Do you ever use an exercise ball and after like a half a minute or so, you don't know what to do with it or you end up doing the same three things and you know that there's all kinds of ways to do things with the exercise ball, but you never remember them. So I'm going to show you a few things right now that you can do anytime. And not Hi, I'm Will Nelson and I make things fun when it comes to the body because I'm still having fun with my body. So let's dive in. So today I'm showing you a couple of exercise balls and they're slightly different in size. I'm going to explain a couple of things. The larger the ball, the bigger the ball gets, the more you're going to want to teeter and affect your balance and coordination. So if that's what you're striving for, a larger ball is going to help you. But what I'm looking to do today is show you how to elongate, lengthen, release the stress from sitting. Although these balls are fairly similar in size, notice that when I press on this one, it doesn't go down very far, it's pumped up. But this one, very soft. So my body is going to sink into this and I'm going to make a stronger connection between me and the ball. And if you have any issues with balance and coordination, this is a great thing to do is under inflate your ball just a little bit so that it conforms more to your body and it's going to move around less on its own. Also, this ball has little nubs on it, so it really grips, creates more of a bond. This one is slicker. Okay, so here's the ball we're using today. And the mat is going to make it for a softer, so the parts of you that are not on the ball but are on the ground are going to be on the soft, cushy feeling. And you're also going to be able to have something to grab onto, and that's really important because it's going to allow you to fix certain parts of your body together, whether it's your hands, your feet, and you move other parts so you can start to control where the movement is going. So it's not just laying on the ball and, right? It's, there's a focus here. So let's look at how we can do this in a simple incremental way. So I'm gonna get up and get on the ball. And you want you can just sit on the ball and do a couple of rolls forward and I'm just letting my body drop like that and back this is what it looks like if I'm <laughs> <laughs> so just coming forward and I'm not particularly loosened up right now because I've just been sitting a lot so my body will just unwind naturally as it wants to, just as yours will. So you can do a couple of these and back, and I can just lean back. But because the ball is small and I'm setting into the ball, I'm not, oh, I'm going to fall. I don't want to work my balance and coordination right now. I want to work on elongation. You want, you can push your knees out. So you get a nice little stretch that way. And notice now I'm just kind of rocking my body a little bit left to right. I'm putting just the tiniest bit of motion, but I'm in complete control of the ball. I'm not going to fall off the ball. Just like that. And I come up. I could do some spinal twisting on the ball, which is wonderful after doing the typing and looking at the computer. And that would just be to gently turn like so. So let's do that for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. And now we're starting to be warmed up a little bit. We're loosened up. There's a sense of some blood flow with the body. So now I'm going to lay back off the back of the ball. And the cool thing with the ball is you can get into poses with your body that the ball will support you in space. And it's much safer and easier and frankly more relaxing. And when you've been sitting a long time, you don't want to be real aggressive. And you don't want to demand too much of your body. 
So this is gentle, but it's still effective. So I'm going to lay back, and I can put my hands in front of the ball to completely control how much I lay back. And I can just stay right here and do this and rock gently back and forth, hold the ball, just like that. And again, that's why having one with grips or a smaller ball is so effective. And then just a little bit left to right, like that. I can bring my knees together a little bit and come forward gently, just like that. Make one leg longer than the other. And if you let go in your mind of the idea that I've got to do three of these and four of these and five of these, you just get kind of the first couple of movements going, your body will take over. It knows what it needs to relax and release. And my lower back just didn't. That's a beautiful thing. So now I'm going to go on back a little bit more to the point that my head and my shoulders are touching down. Just take my time. I'm slowly sliding down the ball onto the mat. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to still hold on to the ball, but I'm going to let my knees come back just gently. I'm not pushing them back. I'm not going like this. I'm just letting them fall naturally naturally i'm just letting my body curl up but here's the thing now the ball is supporting me and i'm in this nice curled up position it's great for my lower back but there's no stress on my lower back i could be in this position for a number of minutes and then i can put my hands behind my feet like this and now just gently press my feet how to count of 10 15 gentle pressure but it's stable pressure and then really slowly I come out of it slowly I don't just let go I I'm pressing and I slowly release the pressure and just kind of feel how it feels What's going on? Just like that. And then I can straighten my legs out and I can bring my legs back. And I want you to notice, I can still turn my head. When we get into these poses that are so intense that our head is fixed and we can't, there's no room left to move the head at all. I think that's too much pressure. On the neck I don't I'm not an advocate of that I'm an advocate of no matter what position you get into you stop knowing you could go a little bit further so it's not about seeing how far you can go it's about extending the range of what is comfortable so right now just rocking like this is very comfortable and if I grab the, the sides of the mat with my hands, I've got a lot of control and I can turn my body this way and notice that my shoulders are fixed down so all the movement is going right into my lower back when I do this. Just like that. And I'm kind of making these half turns. And I can come back to this and I can put my hands behind my knees like this if you have knee issues, putting them here can sometimes put pressure on your knees that you'd rather not have to do. So put your hands behind your knees like this. And I'm relaxing my lower body and I'm using just a little bit of arm strength to rock my body backwards and release it, back and release it, back and release it. One leg at a time, nice and easy, curling up, bringing the feet back, just just relaxing. You can do some wonderful movements like this with your arms. So I can keep going back a little bit more. And again, this is not near what my limit is, but it's enough that I can feel a little bit of a good stretch and I can just raise and lower my body on the ball. I'm still very safe. I'm very supported. And I want to just come out of the position very, very easily. 
and I can put my feet on the ball like this. and press my feet down. This is a good video, but it's time to wrap it up, buddy. Okay, you heard the boss. There is so much you can do with the ball, but more importantly, the things that I'm teaching you to do with the ball, you can do no matter how you're using the body. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe to the channel too. Tell a friend, get them on their ball and you can have a ball together with somebody. See you in the next video. Time? Uh, 13 minutes. That was 13 minutes? Yeah. Oh. 13 minutes is good, though. With cutting some stuff, I think it's going to end up. There's nothing to cut. Every second was magic. He wants to cut my video.